Turning now to your community focus, as we told you earlier in this newscast, President Biden is now sending 31 American tanks to Ukraine. Now, Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse just got back from Ukraine on Sunday. He had urged the president to send those armored vehicles. He joins us now live via Zoom. Senator, thanks for your time. Good to be with you. Thanks for having me on. Now, walk us through what your time in Ukraine was like, uh, who you met with and what you saw there. Well, we first met with the ambassador and her uh, country team. We met with the prime minister. We met with a group of anti-corruption parliamentarians. We met with uh, what I guess you'd call President Zelensky's war cabinet, with uh, the commanders in the field reporting in electronically. Uh, we met with President Zelensky, and then we met with their prosecutor general, who is doing the corruption work and also the war crimes work. So it was a really productive uh, visit. Now, Senator, I understand that President Zelensky actually sort of helped to get a piece of your legislation passed late last year. What was the backstory there? Uh, the backstory was that we had a, a bill clogged up. It was bipartisan. It seemed to have a lot of support. We couldn't quite identify who was blocking it. Um, but what would it do is it would take the money that we have allowed and encouraged the US government to grab from the corrupt oligarchs. And instead of just seizing it and freezing it, it would allow it to be diverted over to Ukraine so that taxpayers have less of a responsibility and the people who caused this war have more of a responsibility. And obviously, President Zelensky likes that idea. And uh, so we were able to organize him making a call to uh, Leader McConnell, the head of the Republican Party, and uh, that broke the logjam, and the uh, bill got into the omnibus, and it is now law. All right, now I want to switch gears here a little bit. Yesterday, you and other members of the Senate Judiciary Committee grilled Ticketmaster and its parent company about the whole Taylor Swift ticket fiasco. What were some of the takeaways that you got from that hearing? Well, I think the general takeaway is that when you have big mergers with big corporations, uh, there are potentially very significant uh, monopoly and antitrust concerns that emerge. And hearing this Rhode Island-based band talk about how they felt they had no means whatsoever to get around the terms dictated by uh, the two big companies was very interesting. Also, from a Rhode Island touch, they uh, started playing uh, down with Bert Krenka at AS220 in Providence, so small world for the band Lawrence. There is always a Rhode Island connection, Senator. Okay, so before we let you go, we've got about 30 seconds. No secret, the environment and climate, some of your top priorities. Do we really need to give up our gas stoves? You know, that's a decision every family should make. Their uh, health issues uh, around gas stoves, um, but we're not gonna solve the climate problem with one family's gas stove. We're gonna solve the climate problem by breaking the grip of the fossil fuel industry on uh, Congress and passing really significant legislation like we started to do with the Inflation Reduction Act, which is the, the biggest climate measure passed so far. All right, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, fresh from his trip to Ukraine. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me on.